Ms. Miller, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, uh, Chairwoman Fox, and thank you, Congresswoman Steele, for leading this important legislation. Uh, first of all, to my colleague on the left, he said he understood the intent of this legislation. Well, this, you are actually misunderstand or misrepresenting the intent. This is not about students. This is about money coming from uh, nations that are a national security threat to us. This bill establishes a zero tolerance policy toward nations that pose a national security threat such as China and Iran. It requires full transparency if these adversarial nations contribute even a single dollar to any of our colleges or universities. During 2018 and 2019, Joe Biden's Penn Biden, Univers Penn Biden Center at the University of Pennsylvania received more than a half a million dollars from a group with ties to the Communist Party of China. The House Oversight Committee also discovered that the University of Pennsylvania paid Joe Biden $900,000 during this very same period. A new report yesterday by Barry Weiss also highlights that at least 200 American colleges and universities withheld information on $13 billion from foreign regimes with much of that coming from the Middle East. Pro-Hamas groups have gained a foothold in our colleges, very sadly. And the colleges and universities raking in money from the Middle East appear to be ignoring Title VI while they allow Jewish students to be threatened and harassed on campus. H.R. 5933 holds taxpayer-funded colleges and universities accountable. It requires public disclosure of foreign gifts to individual staff and reveals foreign investments and endowments. We must protect students, universities, and our American values by eliminating foreign influence on college campuses. Again, I want to thank Congresswoman Steele and Chairwoman Fox, and I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. Mrs. Hayes, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you. I move to strike the last word.